It was a 17-year-old girl that is living with a relation who wanted to help them. The girl committed abortion without telling the caregiver. When they now brought the child, all efforts, she said she didn't, she, 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 she didn't even know any man. And because she said she didn't know any man, you know, you, you have no right to do the, the, the vaginal examination on a virgin. You must use the virgin something. So, you, do you understand? But the pregnancy test it did, even though it was faint, but because she committed the, the abortion about three weeks ago. So, when they were doing it in a local world, they used what they were they are doing in Duda, and they were removing the intestine, thinking that it's, it's the, do you understand? The pastor. So, they perforated the womb, behind the womb. So, they were taking those parts of intestine. So, there were pores everywhere. So, I was saying, me, when I was going, I thought it's perforated typhoid. You know, typhoid can perforate. But I was saying, this one will say that the pregnancy test is positive. This one will say that it's negative. So long as this woman is not stable, I'm taking her in. Only for me to take her in. Behold, there are multiple punctures on the womb. I don't know what the person that did the abortion for him, her, sorry, used. So, you know, that maybe is a sharp something. So it was puncturing the womb. So there was a place it was punctured through and through and took part of the intestine. Hey. So that was why she was leaking that um, feces. So what we did was, we first of all tried to do the one we can do, the part of the womb that looks not good, we have to remove that part. But thank God, she might still have her, she might still be able to carry a baby to, to town. Then we brought the general surgeons, who also joined us, to do what? To repair the intestine. And she's doing fine. But because I was down, I said I went to start with the last, because, because I left after a few days, I didn't have the opportunity to go and ask that virgin what happened. But the only thing is that I know that she did very well, they have discharged her, and she's doing well. And then there's another one challenging one that we had. A third year student in a Kaduna, I don't know any of the, one of the teachers in, in, in student in school. Now, the boy that she, she messed up with is just also her, her cosmate who can't do anything. But because she didn't say the truth, unfortunately, maybe in the course of doing the abortion or whatever, I don't know how they affected the womb. So the infection, you know, the womb became gangrenous. That is, the womb is no more alive. So because of that, that's why she has been having that fever and all those things, because only her knows what I don't, we don't know whether is it the infection from the contamination of the abortion or is it there was anything. But the only thing is that when we open up, the womb is black. It cannot be remedied. A girl of 21 years, we remove the womb. We remove the womb. So she can never find, uh, uh, carry a, a child again. That's it. At 21, third year. So these are the things. So there are a lot of, there are, uh, especially we that are in the gynae, or such you can, you see a lot. You see a lot. Now, this is no longer the time we say that a child need to be 12 years to, or 14 years to start seeing menses. Now, you see them 12 years, you already know what it is. Could you believe that you bring a child of 8 years to look at, to taste something? You see that there is no high men. It looks like that of my mother. The whole high men. That's why also men should also be very careful because the children now can put them into trouble. Do you know that a child of 8, eight years can carry you? indirectly taking your hand to, to take it to a, a place you will not like. Because you have already started with even the people in the same primary school with him, with her. And you, if you are the one that your um, hormone doesn't uh, have control, he will put, she will, she will put, you, you will put. When she will send them, she will name you first. And you are gone for that. More every, there is no way they will not bring a child less than five years that it has blood stem on the pant. At the end, either it's the driver that came to pick the child that is fingering the child, or it's the housewife that is fingering, or the uncle in the school that is fingering the child. So there are a lot of things, so too many things. With regards to emergency, we have seen a lot. And also with regards to challenges when we are doing surgery, sometimes also because of this era of uh, supplement, people are, women are taking rubbish, rubbish, so, so, no, fibroid, the fibroid is a very sweet surgery that it has this capsule, you're supposed to remove it with that. But they will take all this rubbish they call their supplement. When you go there, you'll be sweating. Because that supplement they take, we now destroy that normal capsule that will help you a good cleavage, to, cleavage plate to remove it. You can't again. Because you know we don't cut fibroid, you don't cut to remove fibroid. You're supposed to, once you make that incision, you enucleate it. 
you enucleate fiber, you don't cough, you don't excise fiber, you enucleate. But when they take that thing, it will obs ob ob obliterate everything. So you can't even see. So you have to start cutting. And sometimes, you know, when you cut, the more you are cutting, the more the bleeding. Sometimes you end up losing the whole womb. Sometimes not only losing the womb, you lose the woman. And these are all these nyama nyama things. Hey, no, you don't need to, you will take this one, you will shrink it, you will, you will, you will you urinate it, you will do this. Now lie. If you don't want to, if your surgery, if your fibroid doesn't need surgery, it doesn't need surgery. If you don't want to do surgery, please don't take anything that you are taking it to shrink the fibroid, remove the fibroid. No. Because we are the one that will have the complication. Sometimes it's safe, because of that thing they take, it will have what you call mutation. It will have carcinogenic changes. And you know, now some people will say, naturally on its own, it's rate is 0.02 percent for it to turn into cancer. But because of all these two stupid things we are taking now, there are increases in incidence of uh, of uh, malignant changes. That is something that it looks like fibroid now and become malignant. People will take people don't tell the truth. You might even go that you are going to do appendix only for you to open. You see a rupture of the topic. There are a lot of things, a lot. So that was why I said, with time, we really need this. This year, awareness, advocacy, I think it will also go a long way for people that really want to have a change of heart, to have a change of heart and live better. With regards to health, all of us should know that at a certain age, there are some health challenges you will never run away from. That's why I always tell people, when you're still very young, you know that time, it's your parents that take care of it. Parents shouldn't be quick to turn themselves into doctors. Before somebody goes to the hospital, she have, must have consumed three different types of antibiotics, three different types of anti-malaria. So that's, for that time, we must take care of them. Then as a young boy or a young girl, for women, you know that during our teenage, early, you know, from teen to 20s, you know, your hygiene matters. There are changes that will come. It's not sickness. That's why when you meet the appropriate person, will tell you, ah, my menses used to be three, three days or four days, now it's two. It might be just ordinary simple change. You now start going and taking stupid drugs. And that drug will be what you'll be suffering from. Not that thing. You know, half knowledge is worse than no knowledge. I hope we know. But some of the know, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. Maybe you meet the person that know. But the person that have, they have. Don't believe that she has half. She thought that she have the full knowledge. Then, because at this stage, what we normally need most is what? Our what? Hygiene. You know, the problem that normally bought, you know, hover around what? Menses. Mens is miss, mens is uh, prolong, mens is do this, mens is dark, mens is this. Do you understand? These are the things. And you should, when you understand yourself, it's be it helps you better. Then for men, if men, the only thing you will not start to talk, you know, begging them and talking to them, they will start experimenting. They will smoke this, they will smoke that, they will drink this, they will drink that, they will have lung cancer, they will have lung the, um, um, pneumonia, they will have bronchitis, they will have liver problem from all those nyama nyama things. Then for some of them that are into well world and all those things, they will get, have gonorrhea. Now gonorrhea is not a problem, but they will not meet the appropriate, because if you meet the appropriate person, now you cure it and cure it for forever and go. Some of them will now, you know, these are the most of the things at that age, because they want to experiment. Either they're experimenting with the drugs, they're experimenting with the, the, the drinks, or so these are the areas, or they are so well -worn. Any woman that we are scared, they want to test and see how it is. So before you know it, all of us should know that HIV is not curable. You manage it for life. Hepatitis B, hepatitis C, these are all the things that you cannot get from eating the food. It must be through male to female, or inadvertent use of blood and blood products. Then when you finish that one, now you move a little bit up. Some of those women, after doing all this nyama nyama thing, they will destroy themselves. When they marry, they will be looking for whom they will point an accusing finger on. Or it will be the, the man himself also, he have already finished himself. When he marry, he will be looking for, he will say it's the woman that is the problem. Then at that, after that, when you move in the 40s and in the 50s, you are not talking about the prostate. Any man at that stage must make sure that he's checking his prostate. But the first one is the one we put our finger into the rectum, into the anus, and check the consistency of the, of the prostate. To check for the arrangement, this one, I don't know why me, I can do it for 100 people, I don't care, and go your way. It's not supposed to cost you anything. It's only when you now and check it, and there is anything, you can move a, a step further. Then you do what you call process-specific antigen. At least you do it once every year. You know, to be checking it because once you are around 45, you're supposed to be starting. Initially, we say 50 years, but now, once after 40, you should be start checking. 
Then for a woman, if your tummy suddenly started getting bigger, if you have fibroid, you should have known. If it's not causing you bleeding and it's not pressing on your kidney, you don't need to remove it. Don't allow doctors to be deceiving you. Because, because in a fibroid, is, there is no woman, African woman, you go, you will not see one or two fibroids. But the only one that you need to remove is the one that is causing problem. You don't need to remove it. Maybe you want to get pregnant, you see that it's pressing or something like that. That's all. Not all fibroids can be removed. Because when you go into menopause, it will just destroy, you know, degenerate on its own. Then these are the things. Then also, if you start bleeding, suddenly their bleeding looks abnormal, you check. Am I developing cancer of the womb? Am I developing cancer of the ovary? Am I developing cancer of the cervix? And all of us should know that any woman that fled from one woman, woman to the other, the chances of developing cancer of the cervix is high. Even if you're a good person and your husband fled from one place to the other, that's another disadvantage. You are at risk of cancer of the cervix. Because that human papilloma virus they are running away from, after being like this, your husband will go and get it and give you and you develop it. So these are why this education is very good, so that you also look, educate the man. If you, if you love me, you have to help me to be alive, so that two of us will take care of our children. Then, if you suddenly, your tummy started getting bigger, any small thing you eat, you get food, especially those that do not have many children. Some people like reverend sisters or people that didn't marry on time and all those ones. You think, are you having cancer of the ovary? You must check. Then if you say, man, every time this thing is paining you here, don't say ulcer, ulcer, it will be cancer of the colon. You must be sure. Or even if it's not cancer, of, could it be that there is any of dyspepsia? All those to find out which one it is, so that you treat it on time before it becomes bad. So that's why, as your age, as you're getting on in age, you are checking on. Then, by and large, this is the time. Mainly at that 40 or 50, this is time you must be checking your blood sugar, your BP, because that's when the BP will start going up. You know, as your estrogen level is going down, that's your menses will be going. Once your menses is going, your BP will be coming up. As also the the, uh, the, the system, endocrinological system will also be affected, especially if you have family history of diabetes or hypertension, maybe your dad had it or your mom had it, or they didn't seem to be having it, but they have the gene that expresses in them, you can develop it at that time. And if you are not doing checkup, it will be only as emergency they will bring you. By then it will destroy the organs. But if you are checking and you find out when you develop, you now take care of it before you now have any problem. And all these things are no problem so long as it's discovered on time and taken proper care of. Don't mind what all these people that has their microphone are taking. <laughs> you see, as we are sitting down here, without even doing anything, you can have such a You can have such. Reason is that I want to tell you. Most often, Seb, those people that they say that have the circulocus, it's not even circulocus. You know, if you are collecting sample to do culture for somebody, and inadvertently, your hand, because this hand has organism, this inadvertently, this hand, any of this hand, touch inside of that container, you contaminate the place. So you'll be culturing what your hand introduced, not what is in the person. And that's why you continue to give the, child, the person the drug. The person will now start getting worse. Because you are giving the drug for what he doesn't have. You see somebody that they are feeling something. By the time they start treatment, they get worse. Because they are not treating what they have. They are, they are imposing, they are giving for something they don't have. So, if you say Staphylococcus epididymis, you know there are different, different types. That one, yes. But that one also can come from uh, contamination as well. Do you understand? It can come from contamination. But mostly, Staphylococcus is not uh, sexually transmitted. It's not. Well, no, it's not. It's not. And most of them know that Staphylococcus is not thing. The way God has, you know. Don't mind all this thing we are saying. Yes, if there is nobody now that will do culture in the East, in the Igbo land, that will not have star. You must have typhoid, malaria. Then if you do culture, you will have star. Most often, those so-called star, it's not even, even in, that your, in that specimen they collected from you. Most of the surgery is transmitted, it's not in the urine you will see it. It's when you take your swab. It's so you take your swab. And when you take swab, the swab that can, can, cause, can cause all this in your mind, now, when you're talking about um, chlamydia uh, trachomatis, or when you're ent ent um, enterococcus, all those ones, uh, H. E. coli, all those ones, do you understand? All those things are the ones that is that's for UTI, that's for United States infection, which mustn't be. It is not doing uh, surgery transmission. But when you're looking at, when you're seeing human papilloma virus, when you are talking about chlamydia, when you are talking about um, 
uh, you know, candida initially we are saying that it's not surgery transmitted, but it is. Some are not surgery transmitted, but so many are also surgery transmitted. I hope we know. Because chlamydia can come if you are dodging. All those women that rub some feminine something to make them smell good. Uh -huh. All those, you know, they, will, they can develop can, uh, candida without having a not true seizure. Yes, because you will not destroy the normal flora of the place. And when you discern the normal, that's why if you watch, when you dodge, when you use this, you see that every day you'll be discharging, you'll be itching. Yay. Ideally, the normal private part of a woman is supposed to be washed only with water. The only thing is that you wash several, several to make sure that it's clean. You don't need soap, you don't need detail, you don't need either. Just so water. In, outside. in, out, everywhere. <laughs> once you, once you, once you make, even if it's after your menses, the only thing is that you need to wash it as often as until you, you will feel the neatness when you finish washing it. But this one, they will carry soap, put, carry the toll, put, carry as that, put. When they finish, they say it's itching them. Me, if you enter, I say, why would you itch you? Let it itch you more now. Because that's the normal, you have already destroyed the normal flora there. And once there is alteration in the normal pH of the place, definitely any organism that's not supposed to grow there will not grow. So that's why you don't even go there to distort anything. Because once you distort anything, anything can happen. You finish washing it with the toe. You continue to re remove that uh, whitish something that looks like a uh, raw pap, which is candida. And that candida is not because you did, that one is not sexually but That one is because we have distorted the normal flora. Every woman is open. From there, it can enter anywhere you want to enter. It can even from there go and block your tube forever. Yes. Because once you are going in, you reach the mouth of the womb. From the mouth of the womb, you enter the womb. From the womb, you enter the host tube. The host tube goes into the tubes. And from the tubes, the film blind end of the tubes. From there, you jump into the peritoneum. Into the, that is into the abdomen. That is this from there, you can reach anywhere you want to reach. You can even from here, reach the brain. Mm -hmm. Of course. Is it, not your, is it not your body? Because once it's in there, it can enter the blood stream. And if you're unlucky and they block the tube, that's forever and ever. If you like, go to Germany. When you finish going, you come back. The family pressure is much. If them sisters left the convent, either they were expelled or they left on their own, eight or nine of them were because of the family. They want you to go and see from the church and bring to them. They want you to go and do something that they know, even if as a lay girl, it's, a, it's an abomination. They don't care. 